Since the 80s. Interesting. All right. Troops in Afghanistan are fighting to keep the faith after the U.S. military removed a large cross from the outside of a NATO army base. The cross, which was erected about a month ago at Camp Marmel, reportedly violates army regulations. Joining us now with more on the story is Fox News radio host Todd Starnes. Okay, so Todd, um, this is Camp Marmel. It's in Germany. Northern Afghanistan. Oh, sorry about that. It's, it's a, a German, German base. German base. That hosts NATO forces in northern Afghanistan. That's right. And the U.S. Army is responsible for the chapel that's been there. It was just dedicated back in September. They built a new chapel, which is um, it's not a big church with stained glass windows. But the, the military members that I talked to say that this place makes them feel like they're back at home. And they put a big cross outside to designate that this, in fact, is the chapel. But they've taken the, the cross away because people were complaining or they had received complaints. That's correct? right. I, I checked in with the Pentagon and... And the spokesperson told me that people did, in fact, complain. Uh, they wouldn't tell me who or how many, but they said they did receive complaints. And sure enough, the, the, the Pentagon says that this cross violates Army regulations. Well, here's what the P Pentagon uh, officially says. This is from the spokesperson. Military chapels have to be open to all denominations and as such can't have permanent symbols of one particular religion or another. Yet this, this has been going on for a long time. The last three years, though, it seems that things seem to be changing. That's right. And, and I, I, I talked to some, some conservative leaders, Tony Perkins from the Family Research Council, and they say this is, this is a very scary trend within the past three years where we have seen crosses and other Christian symbols cleansed from the military. Just, a, just last week at my website, I did a story about a cross in California, Camp Pendleton, uh, that's, uh, that's under investigation right now because it may violate uh, regulations. But the thing is that these are supposed to be non-denominational buildings. Buildings, correct for people to worship right but the question is what's the point of a chapel if you can't have religious symbols in the building and the military says they have to be religiously neutral when they're not being used you know for religious services what if there's a crescent uh, you know, the crescent for instance well, would it be the same situation? Yeah, would it be so, well, some people believe that if, in fact, it had been a crescent, then it would still be there and it wouldn't have been an issue. But it seems as though every time there is a Christian symbol or there's a Christian prayer, Operation Christmas Child, the, 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 uh, the holiday event to, to gather toys for, for kids, that came under fire at the Air Force Academy because it had a Christian component. So there seems to be a, a, a thread here, and it, it, it involves the Christian faith. We will continue to uh, investigate this. I'm sure you will be doing that Absolutely. for us. Give us any updates if you find them. Will do. All righty.